Injuries that cause severe bleeding can ultimately kill you if not treated. What I'm, I'm going to need is a willing volunteer. I'll do it. Mark, go over to okay. Alistair, and he's going to give you a wound. <laughs> yeah. Yes? He's going to give you a wound. But it won't hurt. Shouldn't hurt. <laughs> Alistair's going to make a very realistic-looking wound on Mark's leg. We're making it as convincing as possible, as it's important not to be put off by what a wound looks like and to think about what you can do to help the person in trouble. Now, that is looking nasty. You certainly can't be walking around on an injury like that. That looks pretty deep. It looks like you may well have hit some vessels. And if you have, then I'm expecting it to squirt a bit. Oh, there we go. You have <laughs> certainly hit a vessel. If you see an injury like this for real, the first thing you should do is call for help. But then there are some easy steps you should take to help stop the bleeding. The first step is apply some direct pressure. OK, so direct pressure on the wound. If you've got a bandage, use that. If you haven't, use a T-shirt. Again, use whatever you've got. You can see it's all still seeping through. Mark, well done with the bag what squeezing. The key to stopping the bleeding is to apply the bandage quickly and firmly and not disturb the surface of the wound where a clot might be forming. Keep tying fabric around the wound until blood stops showing through. The important thing, though, is to forget anything you've heard about tourniquets or tying these bandages as tight as you can. What I essentially don't want to do is apply it so, so tight that I can't get a finger in there. I want to apply the amount of pressure that's going to work towards stemming the flow, but without cutting off the blood supply to the rest of your foot. Once you've done all the bandaging you can, simply raise the wound up above the heart to help reduce blood flow. Not all wounds are clean and neat, though. If you're faced with a wound like this, don't be tempted to pull the object out. That twig could actually be stemming the flow of blood. By you pulling it out, you could be actually causing a mass bleed. The principle of how we're going to treat that is ultimately the same. You still need to apply pressure around the wound, so build it up and then cover it over. Protect the object by putting anything you can find either side of it. Then keep pressing down firmly to help stop the bleeding as you tie a piece of fabric over the top. And just tie it tight, keep it secure. And there you go. Mark, you feeling all right? Yes. Yeah, cool. Finally, there's one more very important thing to look out for. The thing that we worry about when it comes to serious bleed are people going in, into shock. Shock is a very dangerous condition caused by not enough blood reaching the vital organs. What I need you to look out for are some particular signs. If they become dizzy, they feel a bit faint, if their lips go blue, if they become a bit pale, sweaty, if their breathing is a little bit shallow and fast. These are all worrying signs. Ensure the person is lying down with both legs raised to help blood flow to the brain and heart. Keep them warm and notify the emergency services immediately. By doing this, you'll have done everything you can to save their life. Hopefully you'll never have to use these skills, but if you do, stay calm and don't panic. Stop the bleeding by applying pressure Call 999 as soon as possible. Lie the casualty down and elevate the limb and look for signs of shock.